Alderperson Decker? Here. Alderperson Ackley? Here. All right, she's here remotely. Uh, Alderperson Barbara Feldy? Here. Alderperson Donahue? Here. All right, everybody is here. Um, for those in attendance, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, moving along here. We'll approve the minutes from our July 29th meeting. Is there such motion to approve the minutes from our previous meeting? There's been a motion to approve. Is there a second? There's been a second by Dean Decker. Any further discussion on the minutes from our previous meeting? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes from our previous meeting, please state aye. 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 Anyone, aye. anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. The minutes are approved from our previous meeting. Okay, moving along to items for discussion and action. Um, 3.1, resolution number 68, 2021, a resolution authorizing application for Edward Bryan Memorial Justice Association grant um, program for the fiscal year for 2020, local solicitation entering into a memorandum of understanding with the Sheboygan County. Chief, this for you. So the Burn Jan grant is the primary means of uh, funding criminal justice um, through the federal government. So it's a grant that we're eligible for every year um, because we're in what they call a disparate area, which means that the counties doesn't have enough crime that, that they um, cover in, in order to get their own grant and because they run the courts and the detention center in order for us to receive the money, we have to work out an agreement with them to share the money with them. So it's a process that's gone on here for about 20 years, the same agreement. Um, they become the fiscal agent and file the grant and we split the grant with them. So this year it's a little over $14,000 that we'll be splitting with them. So this is a resolu resolution for you to approve the mem memorandum of understanding with how we do that. All right. Any questions for the chief? <coughs> Are there motions? Uh, motion to accept. All right, there's been a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving, please state aye. Aye. Anyone aye. opposed? Aye. Um, chair votes aye, that's approved. Thanks, Chief. Uh, 3.2, resolution number 33-2021, submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2020, April 14th, 2021, June 30th, 2022 for a beverage operating license, application number 3244 and application number 8232. City Attorney. So the first one is regarding Coke Milo Potowills. Is Mr. Milo Potowills here? He is not. Um, he, this matter is on for a denial hearing. It is a new license, so he doesn't get the formal hearing like we had last time. Uh, he did not respond to our request to, uh, to respond to our recommendation to deny. Uh, so our recommendation is going to be uh, to deny the license. Uh, in his particular case, uh, the concern is that he uh, is ineligible for the license because of a, uh, a conviction for possession with intent to deliver. Uh, there are also some other uh, criminal charges related to the licensed activity that are of concern, um, but uh, primarily the the particular conviction that just makes her statutory ineligible or him, him or her, I don't know for sure. Okay. Any further discussion on that one? Motion to deny. Second. There's been a motion and second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. And then uh, Ms. Johnson, we're just asking that this matter be held. She's got some legal issues to clear up and uh, it now looks like um, if she does, it won't be at least till the end of October. So th that would be a motion to hold. Move till the end of October to hold. Second. There's been a motion and second. Any further discussion? 
Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone, aye. Opposed? Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That's approved. All right, moving along. 3.3. Resolution number 39, 2021, submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2020, June 30th, 2021. June 30th, 2022, for beverage operating license, new application at number 3270, and a taxi cab license application number 3283 and 3263. So there are three applicants, and we're recommending that all three of them be granted. However, we're recommending that uh, Mr. Gilbertson, Dylan Gilbertson's uh, new beverage operator license be granted with a warning. Uh, that's because of uh, some behavior like related to the licensed activity uh, that the committee found concerning but not uh, rising to the level of denial. Uh, and Ms. Shave's license, um, we're recommending granting, but uh, it probably won't be issued until she takes care of some necessary issues. Uh, but it would be to grant all three Mr. Gilbertsons with a warning. Okay, is there a motion to grant? Motion to grant with the warning for the one. There's been a motion by Dean. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mary Lynn. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That's approved. All right, moving along. Um, 3.4, our own number 47, 2021, submitting various license applications for the period ending April 14th, 2021, June 30th, 2021, and June 30th, 2022. So um, we are uh, recommending a number of actions on these. Uh, first, we'll, we'll go, to, go through them one by one. It's just simpler that way. We are recommending granting the change of premises application and the sidewalk cafe license application of, C of Sheboygan Scenic Bar, uh, contingent on their uh, amending their plan uh, to ensure a five foot ADA aisle. They, they kind of have it on there, but there, there was the way they've kind of drawn it, left something, some things to the imagination. And then again, and also amending their premises description. It appears they did it right, but they just, they just need to write it a little more exact. So that would be a grant with those contingencies. Is there a motion to grant with the contingencies? Motion to grant with the contingencies. Second. Motion by Dean, second by Mary Lynn. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. We're also recommending the grant of change of premises application to Superior Bar and Grill. Their contingency is they need to clarify their premise description. Again, it's written in such a way that we think their intent is, is contiguous, but they should write it in a way that's, that's clearly contiguous. Uh, and so uh, given that, we just we recommend granting uh, with the contingency that they uh, make that clarification. Motion to grant with contingency. Second. There's been a motion and second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of a, a granting that license, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. Then we've got um, HCM Hospitality for Bar 43 at the Harbor Center Marina. We're recommending holding that one. Uh, the application did not have all of the necessary information. And so I wasn't able to do a full background check. What Motion. information were they oh. missing? They didn't fully complete their, they have to do um, a sheet for each member of the corporation when they're a new, when they're new members. So that, that includes basic information like um, birth date and okay. those kinds of things so that we can find out who they are. And in, in this case, also the um, form appeared, we, we couldn't tell, but it appeared to be incomplete that there were names missing. Okay. Motion to hold. Second. There's been a motion and second to hold. We don't anticipate any trouble with them, do we? No, no. I, th I think no. it's just a matter of getting it done. Okay. okay. All those in favor of holding that, please state aye. 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 
possible. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That one is held. And then we're also recommending holding the Class B liquor license application of Sol and Nova LLC. Uh, they also need to cr uh, just correct some issues on their application. They didn't complete a data sheet, um, and they, I think what they had is both people sort of filled out their own forms, uh, and so that there's some clarification needed as to who will be the agent. Um, and given that they're not, you know, they had already told you that they're not planning on opening for a number of months, but we required them to put in the application right away so that it wouldn't just be hanging out there without us knowing whether they were re really going to follow through. It actually works to their benefit because one of the issues will go away and by the time they come back next week, <laughs> ne next, next okay. meeting. So Sounds good. Any okay. discussion on that one or motions? Motion to hold. Second. There's been a motion and second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye, that's held. And then it would be to approve the remainder of the applications on that RO. So move. Second. All right, there's been a motion and second to approve the remaining license. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. All right. Moving along. Uh, which one is this? Uh, 3.5 RO number 48 2021, a direct referral submitting sidewalk cafe and change of premise applications for the period ending April 14th, 2021. And I believe we have several folks here um, that want to speak on this one. Um, City Attorney, do you have any comments first or should we let sure. the public speak? I think we can. Yeah, uh, we'll provide our recommendations and then people can speak. Okay. Um, so staff met on this one and our recommendation is to deny. Um, we're recommending denying the sidewalk cafe and the change of premises application. Uh, in essence, because as they've described the premises, it is not contiguous and you can't have a non-contiguous -contigu change of premises. You can't have the building and then, you know, 40 feet away or whatever it is, the, the sidewalk. Uh, they could um, amend their uh, change of premises application, um, but to do so uh, would add a sufficient amount of space that would now, we're, now we're dealing with uh, conditional use permit issues. Um, staff has recommended uh, that such a permit be issued in the past, twice in the past. Uh, Plan Commission has twice denied that request due to neighbor concerns. Um, staff has encouraged the applicant to work through a listening process with the neighbors in hopes that that might either encourage the neighbors that this is not going to be a problem or at the very least um, let the um, plan commission know that the applicant has done everything that they can possibly do. That hasn't happened yet. Um, so that's our recommendation is, is to deny and go through the rest of the process. Um, any Questions for the city attorney from Alders? Alder Donahue. Uh, <clears throat> since we uh, apparently are opening the floor to neighbors, um, I think we should, uh, if anyone is here from the bar, I think that person should be allowed to speak first so that we know what the issues are uh, and what the uh, bar is intending to do, if such a person is here. Okay. Yep. And if you would just introduce yourself, tell us your name uh, so that the person taking the minutes can. Uh... My name is Christine Polkar, and I'm representing Cheryl Egan for House Divided. Um, I had recently got uh, an email from Cheryl. Uh, stating what the possibilities could be wrong, and I drew up a proposal of a new seating chart um, uh, along with pictures um, that would, uh, um, it, it's, it's a sidewalk right along the bar, and I have it with me right now, if that would be an issue. 
So if, you, if you're looking to change the application, that would have to get reviewed. So we could okay. hold the application okay. because you've basically changed it. Um, that, that is one possibility um, if, if you want that done as well. Um, okay. Um, what were what were the uh, reasons for not allowing? Basically, it's called contiguity. Mm -hmm. So you know you already have a premises which is your building, right? And then there's a gap, and then there's the sidewalk cafe, and and a premises has to be a single premises. You can't have gaps. You know, okay. you, you can't okay. walk through not premises to get back to premises. So you'd have to include that whole area where you had previously gone to the plan commission um, okay. so that people can get there to, to the sidewalk. Cafe. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. if you were to, rem there are a couple of issues uh, because there is a difference between you've done both a sidewalk cafe permit and a change of premise. It's primarily the change of premise issue that is the concern of contiguity, not the sidewalk cafe. However, we can't grant you the sidewalk cafe without a change of premise because you've indicated you're going to serve alcohol. If you weren't going to serve alcohol, they could actually vote on the sidewalk cafe um, because the premise issue only relates to the service of alcohol. Okay. Um, but my understanding is that you do plan to serve alcohol. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so that sort of leaves that option out where you don't change your premises and you just do non-alcohol on the sidewalk. Um, so that brings you back then if, if you're going to amend the plan so that you're going to put tables sort of outside um, but but in that area between the sidewalk and the the bar you can make that you, you can go down to the clerk's office and amend amend that add it you know add it to the uh, recommendations and then staff will look at it that's exactly what I'd like to do so now, you know, to the rest of the committee, you know, obviously you've got neighbors here. You probably want to hear from them anyway. Uh, but based on that, um, we would probably um, to final uh, make it make an amendment to hold because what she's saying is that the problem she's she's eliminating the problem that led us to recommend to not. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have any questions for us or? Ah, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> No. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. Um, anyone else wishing to speak on this item? I, I, I just, Other I think I would here? like to clarify for the representative of the owner. So when we say contiguous, um, we don't mean right up next to it. So your property has a big parking lot, which many businesses would be happy to have. But you have a big parking lot. In order to put tables on that parking lot, you needed to get a conditional use permit, and apparently your neighbors don't want that. So my understanding of what the city attorney is saying is that uh, in order to proceed with the sidewalk per, uh, cafe permit and the change of premises, the description that you offered in your application or applications needs to include the parking lot. Because, of course, that is part of your business, and it is contiguous to the sidewalk. So under that, under that measure, if you amend the application in that respect, my understanding would be that that would be acceptable. Sidewalk cafe permits and premises are not um, subject to the same kinds of concerns or standards, I should say, that a conditional use permit might be. I'm certainly meaning no disrespect to your neighbor's uh, concerns, which we will now hear. Uh, and which you would be very good to listen to. I will note in the sidewalk permit, uh, cafe permit ordinance, the police department has authority, as far as I'm reading, under section 110-504 sub E, to, without reason, to immediately close down your sidewalk cafe. And I would assume that would be if there were uh, issues. In addition, um, your sidewalk cafe can be revoked um, uh, prior to expiration uh, upon notice to you. So in other words, there are significant protections built into the granting of a sidewalk cafe permit to ensure that we don't have a lot of noise or trash 
or whatever might, might be there. But in any event, um, if in fact there is a motion to hold and you do wish to amend your permit, I would suggest you work with the clerk to uh, completely understand exactly what premises they want described. Uh, because from a legal perspective, this is part of what we call your curtilage and it is contiguous to the sidewalk, at least in my dated opinion. And that, depending on how things turn out here, that's something you'd want to discuss with the clerk and perhaps the city attorney, because this appears to be more complex for you than most business owners. Depending on what it looks like, uh, once you get it to the clerk, if we feel like it, you, we need to, uh, the staff that reviews these things needs to meet with you, we would like, likely invite you to a meeting. Okay. I know we have some neighbors here. Anyone wishing to speak? Then please just state your name and your address. Uh, my and name I'll give is... you three minutes. <laughs> okay. Roughly. Uh, now we're not going to hold you too tight to that. But... Uh, my name is Linda Zalow and 2914 South 9th. And would you, would you just, for the, for the uh, person taking the minutes, would you spell your last name? Uh, Z like in zebra, A-L-E-T-E-L. -E -E I understand.